Hello everyone, Kryptonite here and welcome back to another Hydroneer Logic Guide video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the Logic Compressor and how to make it automated. So first of all, before I show you how to build it and what the components do, we'll just quickly run through what components we'll be using today. So today we'll be using the validator hook so we can get rid of that one. We'll also be using the diode today, so we will get rid of that one. We will also be using the A is greater than or equal to B pipe, or cable I should say. So we'll also be using the counter here, and obviously the logic compressor, so we can get rid of that one as well. So without further ado, let's get straight onto the build and I'll show you how to successfully make your logic compressor automated. So here we are everyone at the logic compressor build. Now it looks rather complicated, but it is pretty simple in its design. So first of all, what we have here is the counter which attaches the convey belt. This will be counting the amount of resources going through so we can set up when we want our logic compressor to activate. Now your signal out of the counter will be to the right or left hand side, depending on what way around you have it. I only have it with the display facing this way, just for tutorial purposes and space etc. So what you want is you want a straight pipe out, and this is where we will be using the A is greater than or equals to B. Now you want the A side facing towards the counter, and on the B side you want the keypad. This is where we'll be entering the value of what we want the counter to be greater than or equal to. So I've just got mine set at 3 for demonstration purposes, but maybe you want the compressor to activate once say 10 gems have gone through or you know 15, 20, whatever number you want to put here, it will then dictate when the compressor activates. From your out pipe, which is where the greater than equal sign is, you want that just going, going straight into a two piece here, one side going into logic compressor, and the other side is where our reset for our counter will take place. So the reset for the counter will be the connection on top of the counter here. So what we want to do is we want to basically use the elbows and straights just going straight over to the top. These ones here are just hooks, I'm just going to explain them now. So first of all we have a diode here to make sure that our signal will only travel this way, therefore it won't go back and reset the rest of our mechanisms here, for example our keypad with our dictate number. So next we have here is the validator hook, which means that only signals greater than zero will follow this track here. Now the only way I got the counter to reset consistently when I wanted to was with this one here. Without this I was having issues but after a little bit of testing I have managed to figure it out how to work consistently. Now I've had this running for a good hour or so and I've had no issues since I stuck the validator in there. For some reason it was allowing a value of zero to interfere with the reset values. And next we have a flip hook. Now this will basically turn a value of zero into one and then one or greater than one into zero. And I think that was the main issue without the validator data that's what was interfering with the reset because it was an allowing a value of zero in and it was flicking it to one instead of res resetting it but since the validator will stop any values of zero going in one or greater so obviously from the keypad we will have whatever number we set which will always be greater than zero we'll basically reset this to zero so i've got it set at three just go and turn on my drills again so i can demonstrate how it works so we'll pop them on the counter is at 2 at the moment so it shouldn't be too long before we get a gem come through. Once this turns to 3 you will see the compressor will activate. And there we go. So it's turned to 4 and it's activated. Now as you can see the counter hasn't reset back to 0. But don't worry too much about the number that's on the screen. You will see as the next gem comes through this will turn to a 1. For some reason although this is working it's just not resetting the number on the display. And as you can see, as our new gem come through, it reset the counter back to 1. So although the display hasn't shown a 0, it has reset itself back to 0. The next gem comes through and it goes to 1. And there we go guys, that is the logic compressor build, fully automated. So as I said, set this number to how many gems you want to come through before the compressor activates. And then it will automatically reset the counter as and when you want. I hope you liked the video. I hope it was nice and simple and clear for you. If it was, make sure you hit that like button. And also make sure you subscribe for more Hydroneer tips and tricks. So I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching and see you soon.